All right, here is the dragster chassis that I am working on. Um, so obviously this is the front over here, and this is the rear. Um, and what I've got set up is two blocks, uh, one for each bearing on the rear axle. And then on the front axle, the axle is a part of the chassis. And there's two little end stops uh, that will stop the bearing from sliding too close. And obviously this is very simple. It's just going to go in a straight line until it runs out of air or hits a wall, most likely. Um, so I've got a notch here for the neck of the water bottle and uh, some hooks. I'm hoping I can rubber band the water bottle on. Uh, this is for the front and these hooks will potentially hold on the back of the water bottle. Uh, at the rear here, you can see there's these four slots and I've designed uh, two pinion gears. I've designed uh, this 15 tooth and another 24 tooth um, spur gear. And again, uh, I might have to change a little bit of the inside of the crankshaft in order to bolt this on. Uh, I've created a recessed area for the head of the bolt so it'll be flush here and it won't contact on the tire or the, or the wheel. Um, but that's just one of the spur gears. Um, and so depending on which one I use, the motor will need to be spaced further away or closer to the um, rear axle. Uh, these square holes here, um, or indentations, they are for future designs. I may 3D print a, a wing for this dragster. As you can see, there's quite a recess here uh, for a wheel, and the same on the other side. However, there's also a cutout for where the gears will mesh. Um, to give you a look at that, here's the mock-up of the rear axle. Um, the wheels are very wide. Uh, I think they're 40 millimeters wide, and these are currently 55 millimeters in diameter. I am hoping to add some sort of treads on here uh, to maximize traction. I realize that plastic doesn't have a lot of traction, but maybe if I put this on carpet, uh, it could. And so here's one wheel, and this is sort of a, a guide rod. Um, to guide into the end of the axle when I glue it together, um, but it would be best to 3D print it in two separate pieces. Uh, so here's the spur gear. Uh, let's just see here. I think it's a 50 tooth. Yeah. So it's a 50 tooth spur gear, um, and that will be printed onto the wheel solid, so I won't be able to change this. Uh, I kind of made it as big as I feel comfortable with, so it still gives it a little bit of ground clearance uh, between the ground and the gear. Um, I'm not planning on running this over big obstacles, but you know, I might get caught on some hairs or some carpet, who knows. So basically the idea with this uh, guide rod and the axle is that when I put them together, I want the axle to be straight. Um, and this will hopefully allow me to slide this end onto the other half and then the axle should be straight. Um, it doesn't matter what orientation the wheels are, I can try and align the spokes so they're similar, uh, but yeah, in the end it, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, we've got some spacers on here so that the bearings stay far enough away that they don't contact the rest of the part. Uh, same idea here and the axle will slide all the way to the face there. So that's the rear axle, and the front axle is solid here, you can see. But the front wheel is very, very, very simple. So what I'll simply do is uh, press a bearing into the wheel here, and uh, I'm hoping that a friction fit will be tight enough. I might use some epoxy or super glue to keep it on there. And then I designed some guide treads in here just for cosmetics. And I also rounded the outside surface to make it appear like a wheel because wheels are slightly bulged on the outside. So that's the chassis. Um, I do believe that I have a mock-up 
of the engine on here. Let's see. All right, so here's a model of the engine that I brought into Fusion 360, and I kind of play with the, with the mesh a little bit. Um, the holes on the bottom for mounting the engine, uh, they were originally three millimeters, but the way I have attached things in the past, if I make them 2.75 millimeters, then I can thread bolts right into the plastic, and uh, it seems to hold. Um, obviously, there's, there's not all the parts here, but uh, you got the piston, cylinder, crankshaft, or crankshaft, crankcase, and the uh, cylinder head there. 